wondering where to stay in Bogota? Welcome to our second video of local tips for travelers. Today, we are going to share with you the areas of our city and we will recommend the ones depending on the type of traveler you are and the time you have in our city. So, let's get started. Chapinero Alto and Rosales. This is our own personal favorite uh, area in Bogota. It's the most central of all. It's very close to the nightlife area, but not that close to be disturbed by it. It's also very close to the city center, which is where the main local attractions are, and it has great ways of access. Now, this is where the millennials live nowadays, so it's full of young people. We recommend it for couples, groups of friends, and solo travelers. It's also surrounded by very cool restaurants, coffee shops, and great bookstores. Now, one particular thing is that if you're a vegan or vegetarian, we recommend to stay here because most of the restaurants that have this gastronomical offer are in this area. If you, like us, are part of the LGBTQ plus community, then you'll feel at home in this area because this is our gay neighborhood. La Candelaria, it's our historical district and it's located in the city center of Bogotá, making it perfect for those who only have one night in our city. You will be very close to the main touristic attractions and also close enough to the airport. We recommend for couples and groups of friends. However, if in that one night you want to go and experience the nightlife of Bogotá, we recommend to stay better in Chapinero. Usaquén is a beautiful colonial neighborhood with a great gastronomical offer. We recommend it for either families or couples because if there is a lot of green areas, parks, it's very walkable. But we also recommend it for those who are staying at least three days in the city. That's because it is located at least one hour away from the main attractions. But the good side is that it's closer if you want to go to the South Cathedral, the exit is closer from Usaquén. Tip for you in Bogota, you have to be ready for every weather. Now it's raining, so always take an umbrella with you. Welcome to Park 93. This area of our city is great if you are traveling with families, especially if you are with kids or with elderly. In the middle of the park, we are going to have like a kids park for them to enjoy, and also it's a great area to walk. You are going to find different restaurants, different coffee shops, even drugstores, so you will, you will have everything on the reach of your hand. Also, if you are not traveling with family, but if you are like a kind of person that enjoy relaxed areas and quiet areas, this is going to be also a great area to stay. We recommend this area of Bogota if you are staying from two or more days here in the city. This area of Bogotá is called Zona T, Zona Rosa, or Calle 85. Same area, different names. This is the area of nightlife of Bogotá, so here you're going to find different bars and also dancing places, of course, why not? You're going to find also different um, stores for international and national designers and three different shopping malls. So we recommend this area for couple for couples that are looking to enjoy the nightlife of Bogotá or for groups of friends that want to enjoy also the nightlife of our city. And in same sort of times, we recommend it for travelers that are staying more than two days here in the city. So guys, these are the areas we recommend for your stay. If you like what you saw, if you like these tips, leave it in the comments, subscribe, hit the bell bing, button, bing, bing. and better if you take a tour with us when you come to the city, we would love to show you around. See you on the, the next, next one! one. <laughs>